Magic, surely. The beast! Geralt, look! The time of the sword and axe approaches! The time of the white frost and white light! The time of madness and disdain! To Daerit, the final age! The world will perish amidst ice and be reborn with the new sun! Reborn of elder blood, of hen care, of a planted seed. A seed that will not sprout but burst into flames. The old elven prophecy of Itlina. I hope he's all right. It seems he saved us from the beast. Yes, seems so. Oh, I do hope he's not hurt. I'll need to find someone to take care of him. He shouldn't be alone. We'll stay at the inn in the meantime. Wait a minute. I ran into wild dogs on my way here, but they were nothing like these, and I don't mean just the green fur. Know anything about them? They've been terrorizing the village for some time. Every few days, a villager is killed. The pack is led by a large hound, perhaps a wolf. People call it the beast. Someone might pay to have the beast slain. That's what witchers do, isn't it? But enough about monsters. What brings you here? I'm seeking men who wear the sign of the salamander. Seen anyone like that in the area? Shh, not so loud. There was someone, but the peasants grow silent at the mere mention of him. The Reverend might know more. You may also want to ask him about the beast. I'll do that. Did you want to ask me something? It's been a long time since I've heard mention of Salamandra. Do you know anything about them? I think they're a group of bandits who terrify the locals. Yesterday, they returned a boy they'd whipped with a lamia. A lamia? A mayhem crop with small barbs and hooks. It rips away skin and flesh with each strike. Most civilized countries have banned them. The boy was delirious, muttered something about a ransom and the reverend. Sadly, he grew feverish, and he died that night. Thanks. I may stay longer than I planned. Why the interest in Salamandra? I can't say. I see. Do we know each other? It's me, Shawnee. Don't you recognize me? Whatever happened to you? I heard you died during a massacre in Rivia. Unfortunately, I lost my memory. I recall the last few weeks, nothing more. Hmm. I'm afraid I can't help. Medicine's a fledgling science here in the North. I can say that your memory might come back on its own. It's not that bad. I'm actually getting used to it. I hate to admit it, but sorcerers are somewhat more effective at this than we are. Maybe one of them could help. So what'll become of Alvin? I don't know. I'll look after him for now. Maybe a villager will take him in. He seems clever enough. Surely someone will want him. Did you want to ask me something? What brings you to this village? I'm traveling to St. Lebiota's Hospital in Vizima to help fight the Catriona Plague. When are you leaving? Once I've helped the victims of the dog attacks, I guess. I can't abandon them. It'll delay me, but some are certain to die without my aid. We'll speak later. Army life's tough. 
Hmm, a notice board. Maybe I can find some witcher's work. Army life's tough. Why, hello! Be alert! Army One never knows when the beast will appear. Vizima's gates are closed. The eternal fire protects no sinners. Repent. Simple folk know a good deal, especially the elders. Some share their stories for small tokens. Monsters abound in the crypt. I may have heard of your brotherhood. Greetings. Greetings. What a despicable place. I'm trapped here with my goods while my wife and children wait in the city. Why is that? Vizima's gates are closed due to the plague. The gods be my witness. Nothing ruins trade like an epidemic. I guess we just have to wait. Most of the diseased have died off, but the beast and bandits now spread their own terror. All we're missing are tax collectors. Can I ask you something? Yes? What's with this plague? What of it? Tis some variety of the bubonic. To be safe, I avoid any who appear even slightly ill. Aren't you afraid? I'm immune to infectious diseases. My grandfather claimed the same, insisting all the while that his bubonic ulcers were merely boils. May the ground lie lightly upon him. Yes? Tell me about the beast. I overheard it described as a phantom, appearing from nowhere, murdering those with a heavy conscience. Interesting. <laughs> Royal officials would make a true feast for the beast, and other ghosts serve it. Apparently in the form of untiring bloodhounds. I'll have to ask the locals. Yes? Any bandits in the outskirts? Indeed. They call themselves the militia and extort bribes. Also, some sect from Vizima may have arrived here. Do these men wear the salamander sign? Never met them. But if they are a sect, the Reverend ought to know something. I'll ask him. Yes? Farewell. Monsters abound in the crypt. Damn. Simple folk know a good deal, especially the elders. Some share their stories We await help tokens. from the Order of the Flaming Rose. The eternal fire protects no sinners. Repent. One never knows when the beast will appear. ounces of optimum martyr, a drop of mercury solution. Uh, oh, sorry, I got lost in thought. Greetings. Greetings. I'm Cogstein, alchemist. Geralt, witcher. A witcher? How much would you ask for an opportunity to examine your body? I don't think you could afford it. You would be doing a great service to science. All right, fine. Though I perceived you as someone who valued reliable knowledge. I respect science and scientists, alchemists too. And I guess I expect the same in return. I see. Well, hmm. Maybe you can agree to a post-mortem then. Keep talking and I might change my mind. 
Regarding alchemists, that is. All right, all right. I'm sorry. You don't look like a local. I live in Vizima, but I'm just returning from a great convention of alchemists, pyromancers, and geomancers in Oxenfort. Wonderful city which uh, a cradle of science. I don't doubt it. Did the convention reach any specific conclusions? It was an incredible experience. I presented my dissertation on... Specific? Uh, conventions aren't meant to be specific. Then I'm not sure I see the sense. Science is like a great river, full of currents, whirls, and treacherous shallows. A single raftsman can never know every secret of the river. He must sail to the harbor and share his knowledge with other raftsmen. And get drunk and spend his last money on whores. I think I see the point now. Hmm. Science is like a river. Uh, sorry, I got lost in thought. You were talking about returning to Vizima. Ah, uh, yes. Because of this quarantine, I'm losing time in this inn. I have extremely important research waiting. And what am I doing sitting in this dump and drinking alcohol? Badly distilled alcohol. I've sent a message to my friend, another alchemist. He is my only hope. Hopefully he will send me a pass. Hmm. Well, I wish you luck. Thank you. They must admit me. They must. Do you ask everyone for permission to examine or dissect them? Of course not. But you're a mutant. A scientifically wrought improvement. Something unnatural. That explains it. Don't take offense. I'm merely curious. Need any help from a witcher? I do. Check the notice I hung outside. I wanted to ask you about alchemy. Finally, someone worth talking to. Here I thought the locals had no interests beyond their daily concerns. I'm not exactly a local. And think about it. If the locals were all interested in alchemy, they wouldn't have much need for you. Ha! <laughs> Typically short-sighted. Witcher, alchemy is the mother of all sciences. And do you know why? For it allows us to understand the world. All that surrounds you is none other than the alchemy you strive so dutifully to deride. Alchemical processes transpire in your body at all times. They allow you to eat, breathe, and excrete. What's more, they are responsible for your thoughts and feelings. Alchemy is life. We need to change the subject before the peasants decide to burn us at the stake. One cannot shut the mouth of science. But fine, what do you wish to know? How do you obtain alchemical bases? You need equipment to obtain the correct distillate. I myself use an atonator coupled with an alembic and equipped additionally with a rectifying column and a copper cooler. And if I don't have a coupled atonator handy? I see. Field work. Hmm. Olaf must have some decent vodka or spirit that could serve as an alchemical base. Where do I get ingredients? If you wish to obtain components yourself, you'll need books containing drawings and descriptions of ingredients derived from both plants and animals. Peddlers are your other alternative, but they'll rip you off. When I require monster tissue or organs, hmm, well, I hire a witcher or a hunter. I'm interested in formulae. Ready-made formulae are rare and difficult to acquire, so I encourage you to experiment, modify recipes you already have. Most people underestimate the value of using the empirical method in science. Where do I get ingredients? If you wish to obtain components yourself, you'll need books containing drawings and descriptions of ingredients derived from both plants and animals. Peddlers are your other alternative, but they'll rip you off. When I require monster tissue or organs, hmm, well, I hire a witcher or a hunter. I think 
I've heard enough. But we've only just begun. Farewell. Albedo? Yes, this solution. You don't look like one to be lucky at love, but I wager your luck excels at dice. I know a bit about the game. Sir, I wouldn't cheat you. An honest game's what I propose. Honest? Why choose me? No one else is willing to sit down with you. Risk is your daily bread, that's clear. I'd consider it an honor to play you. My pouch is as empty as a smith's bellows. The peasants round here have nothing but cabbage to wager. A hunter, a worthy opponent, used to fancy a game. But I haven't seen him in a while. I'm not surprised. I don't doubt you fleeced him. To be frank, he loved high stakes. Yet the dice disliked him from the outset. Can you make a good living at dice? That depends entirely on who one plays, sir. The wages are certainly larger in Vizima. And where in Vizima would I find someone willing to play? If your money pouch is bursting, try the new Naracourt. You might also choose the hairy bear, if you have the nerve. Who is this hunter you played? Must have been quite a lover, for I've never seen such ill luck on a man. He lost a lot of orans. Watch out. Love wanes. He'll be back for his gold. I think not, sir. You could smell the loser in him a mile off. The debts must be keeping him away. Farewell. Mickle the guard buys hunting trophies. What's that? What do you want? Always give strangers such a warm welcome. It's all the same. The beast'll have us all. I'm glad we talked. Let's celebrate. Have a drink with me. Farewell. Chickens are dying like flies from the plague. Just listen. Greetings, stranger. Funny, you remind me of someone. Who would that be? The famous witcher, Geralt, the White Wolf. Really? It's uncanny. White hair, sword across your back, streaked out of the ballads. You guessed right. Those ballads are about me. Nonsense. Everyone knows Geralt married a sorceress, and they live somewhere on the Happy Isles. And how do they all know that? Master Dandelion. The Bard of Bards has sung those ballads for years. Hmm. What's in your repertoire? Shall I sing for you, my lord? I wouldn't mind hearing something. Art soothes the soul, doesn't it? But I also need to eat. How about a contribution? Five orins? See ya. Did you want to ask me something? We'll speak later. You saved me, right? I helped. I wonder what will happen to me now. Waiting for your kin to come? No. My family has passed on. Sorry, kid. It's all right. I barely knew them. You fuck a lass! Want a beating, stranger? We fight for money. Farewell. Want to fight? Got any money? Farewell. Greetings, 
handsome. You look a tinge fatigued. Wait, didn't you rescue that child at the gate? By chance. By chance? Really? If only the local peasants chance to do good once in a while. Oh, no matter. What can I get you? Nothing now. But care to sit down with me for a moment? Not lightly. I'm a decent girl. I'm at work now. You mean to say you stop being decent after work? How dare you! What a bore! What do you want? Give me a beer. Your kind's not welcome here. I said I wanted a beer. We have no more. Very well. I'll see what I have. Good man. Everyone drink up! We're closing! Innkeeper, do that again and I'll get angry. Wouldn't want that, would you? No. All right. I'll just tend to my business and be on my way. What can I do for you? I'm a witcher. Bah! By the eternal fire! Have any work for me? No. Ask the Reverend. Okay. I'll speak with him. What can I do for you? Why the gloom? Oh, I don't talk to strangers. Do you for five orans? For that, I talk to a bar guest all day. It's time I was on my way. Army life's tough. Damn, I'm thirsty. Avoid beggars. They carry I the flame. I dislike it here. Greetings. Greetings. Yes, I'm a dwarf. No, I don't support the Skyatel. Yes, I've paid both taxes and bribes. Many times. Today, in fact. Calm down. I just wanted to talk. 
I'll be calm in my grave. Optimistically, that won't be long now. I'll try not to miss the funeral. Make sure and show up for the execution, too. They once herded me off to see a non-human get hanged. Let me tell you, laughed my head off. I gather they don't like non-humans around here. Neither here nor anywhere in the Northern Kingdoms. An official in Vizima recently won an innovation award. Invented a gallows especially designed for dwarves. What's so innovative about that? Nothing, but think of the savings. When you're producing them in the hundreds, all that extra wood can be used to make other goods. Toy swords, for instance. Can I ask you something? Yes. Who are the Scoyatel? Terrorists, or firebrands you'd call them. They're fighting for the rights of non-humans. Scoyatel is elven for squirrels, called that due to the squirrel tails that dangle from their caps. Do you trade with them? Fuck off! You won't provoke me! All gone mad. Shove off, troublemaker! Shove off, troublemaker! All gone mad. I can hurry. Monsters abound in the crypt. I dislike it here. I'm forced to sell my goods out here. Bad luck. I can't enter the city either. Want to buy something? Rob me in broad daylight. Go ahead. What are you peddling? My life. I respect risk takers. Farewell. No, no missions for you. No bold men. Finally, uh, someone sensible here. And you are? Luvarden, merchant. Of those Luvardens. Of those or not, I sense you have a job for me. Unfortunately, my friend disappeared in the cave beneath Vizima's walls. You think he's dead? I don't know. I'll pay you 200 orns to rescue him or provide for a decent burial. Will you take the job? All right. My friend tried evading the quarantine to enter Vizima. Why through the cave? We heard goods were smuggled into Vizima that way. I'll do what I can. Be careful. My friend has dealt with monsters before. If he's dead, surely danger follows. <laughs> Well, that whoring witch has an eye on me. Abigail sells an ointment for boils. What can I do for you? I'm looking for someone who stayed at this inn. Look around the tables. But at night, guests retire to their rooms. Return tomorrow if you must talk to them. All right. I'll look around. What can I do for you? It's time I was on my way. Did you want to ask me something? We'll speak later. I'm going to be a witch too. What brings you here? Farewell. Better? What was that? What can I get you? Beer. 
I'll bring it in a minute. You're quite a talker. Forgive me. Your beauty rendered me speechless. Oh, but you know how to compliment a woman, Anson. I'm no specialist, though I can forge swords. Bring me three different ores and I'll forge you an excellent steel sword. I'll look around for some ore. Another thing. For 35 orans, you can have this excellent sword, Grease. It's not exactly uh, legal, but uh, I really need the gold. Uh, I'm not interested. Yes? Who are the Scoyatel? Terrorists, or firebrands, you'd call them. They're fighting for the rights of non-humans. Scoyatel is elven for squirrels, called that due to the squirrel tails that dangle from their caps. Will I find any around here? You aiming to catch me off guard, or just nosy? In any case, I'll not answer you. Fine. I wouldn't want to cause you trouble. Let's talk about something else. Yes? Why do the locals persecute non-humans? Why do pricks go in cunts? It's the natural order of things. Humans have always hated dwarves and elves. Not for me to know why. I'm not sure I understand. Then ponder it on your own. Or discuss it with that maggot brog. I don't talk to strangers about these things. Fine. Yes? Be alert. Thank <laughs> you. 
from the blood and dents this armors are warriors. But this fatso is more familiar with tankard than sword. Who goes there? I'm a witcher, a monster slayer. Why enter my home armed? I have nothing worth stealing. Calm down. I've no desire to hurt you. I just need to ask you a few questions. I don't talk to strangers. I'm Geralt. Now you know my name. Have a drink with me, Master Geravant. I detest spies, and we all know spies don't drink. Let's drink, then. <coughs> Forgot the most important. Seen the Reverend? The Reverend? Be gone, straggler! Be gone, straggler! Be gone, straggler! Voltes raised customs duties again. This bodes ill. No, no missions for you. Nasty. Have we met? Perhaps. I lost my memory. I've never heard that before, though it's possible. The little medic will care for you. Shani can't help. Shame. Ah, now I remember. Get out of Rivia. I hired you in Novigrad to rid my storage of Garcanes. If you say so. I hadn't sufficient coin, but you helped me nonetheless. Guess I was generous then. My business has grown, so I'll pay this old debt. I could use the gold. Here's one hundred orins. I've no work for you. He's evil. Teach me to kill. It's going to be so muddy. Teach me to kill. I have no work for you. Squirrels, assaulting convoys like during the war. Ah, oh, my stomach hurts. It witch. Oh my, a witcher. Welcome. What happened to the man outside? It was his own fault. Many come to me with pitiful fantasies I disdain to fulfill. They take me for a whore, 
when I am but a witch. I'll remember that. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not all bad. The sinner will recover. What do you want? What do you want? Can I ask you something? If you must. Do you have any magic against phantom hounds? What about your sword? I heard witchers carry two. A silver blade for monsters and steel for humans. Both are for monsters. Unfortunately, I lack the silver one. I know of an ointment. When it coats your blade, you'll cause grievous harm even to specters. The formula will cost you 30 orans. You'll need nasen salt, ganatsid's acid, wine stone and lard. I can sell you these ingredients. Thanks. You can replace the nasen salt with hellebore petals if you wish. See you later. First plague stopped our transport outside the Zima.
Halt! What? What do you mean, what? I want to enter the city. There's a... What do they call that? A, a quarter line. Will it last long, this quarantine? Commander's job to know, not mine. And I guess the commander's inside. Does this quarantine apply to everyone? Dunno. Have you let anyone in? People with passes. They're allowed in. I see. Let's talk. Does the Reverend know you're here? Of course. I don't believe you. He give you anything? I'll come back later. Mickle admits monks and folk with passes. No passage. If you have a letter, find Mickle. Send them to the reservation! Thanks for getting those hounds off my back. Wait, Geralt, is it you? Well, I'll be damned. Something wrong? You don't look well. Are you hurt? True to a witcher. Died, came back to life. Nobody's seen him for five years, and he wants to know if something's wrong. Who are you? You drunk. I'm your pal, Zoltan Chiri. Where have you been? Why haven't I heard from you? What about... Not sure I can explain much. Ah, you don't need to tell Zoltan Chevy anything. Let's just say I'm glad to see you, though it would be nice to resolve some matters. You misunderstood. I lost my memory. I only remember the last few weeks. Hmm, know what, Geralt? Let's have a beer and talk like we used to. Clear your mind and maybe some things will come back to you. You look like something's bothering you. Yes, a nasty matter. My friend was to meet me in this village some time ago, but he never appeared. Think he might be in trouble? I hope not, but I wouldn't be surprised if he were. He joined the squirrels recently and agreed to trade with the hawkers. Squirrels and hawkers? The squirrels, or Scoyatal as they call themselves, are non-humans who hope to gain equality by shooting folk from behind trees. And hawkers are merchants who sell arms to the Scoyatal. Illegally. I see. Geralt, I'm not exactly welcome here. We non-humans get blamed for everything from the plague through the beast to the warts on the Reverend's arse. I'd look for my friend myself otherwise. I'll keep my eyes peeled. Let you know if I learn anything. 
Thank you, my friend. So, how are you doing? You know me, my schemes. I hope to start a modest business in Vizima, bringing in goods from Mahakam. The Breckenrigs are pressuring me. The Breckenrigs? Who are they? My future in-laws. I'm to wed Eudora Breckenrig soon, but my father-in-law-to-be puts too much stock in material things. The common cause mine where I worked after the war was a complete failure. I blame it on the bloody times. So, how are you doing? You know me. From Mahakam? Any profit in that? I certainly hope so. I made some investments during the war. As they say, money needs to move. Just so long it doesn't run away. Geralt! Can you tell me more about the squirrels? They're non-human little shits who are fed romantic tales. They've taken up arms to fight for freedom and other ideals. During the war with Nilfgaard, Emir used them to wreak havoc in the kingdoms. I don't know who supports them now. I need to go, Zoltan. We'll talk later. I fucked a she-elf once. Boring. The diseased were cremated, yet people still fear the plague. Nice knife. Oh, I'm itching to slap somebody. Need to buy? Go see Brug. Greetings to the honorable gentleman. You are? Haran Brog, merchant and middleman, at your service. What brings you here, w Witcher? What do you have to offer? The re reverence sent you, I presume? Of course. W why don't I b believe you? We'll talk later. to slap somebody. That bastard called me a thief. Need to buy? Go see Brog. I'm sleepy. Society made me what I am.
up. Boring! I fucked a she-elf once. What could we 